Let's get physical, physical. <laughs> hey guys, it's Renisha here, and we're gonna talk about hair, and we're gonna talk about working out. I look like I'm gonna go work out, but I'm not. I'm just here to give you guys an update on my colonic experience. Yes. Okay, guys, so I was telling you guys about how I wanted to go get a colonic. I was scheduled to go get a colonic, and I actually did it. Um, as I previously stated, it was a three session process. So I literally went in for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And it wasn't, it wasn't negative at all. Um, I went to a center in Charleston, South Carolina, actually Mount Pleasant, uh, called Merge Medical Center. And it's more so of like a holistic practice, uh, center that focuses on weight loss and then, you know, health and wellness as well. So I had my uh, colonics done with um, Meta. She was so nice, so warm, so welcoming. She made me feel very comfortable because I am very private with everything and I'm not like the most like um, naked, wanting to be naked person, <laughs> but she made me feel comfortable. Um, so what I did initially was come in, I checked in, I had to wait for them to get this chair set up for me to sit in um or a mat rather and i can't even remember what they called the mat but what what i had to do was i had to sit on the um a chair which had the mat on it and recline i reclined back and you don't have to recline back if you don't want to it pretty much just stimulates blood circulation in your body so I did that for about 10 minutes they like dimmed the lights for me and they played relaxing music because believe it or not getting a colonic is supposed to be a relaxing experience so after I sat on that mat thingamajigger that I don't know the name to uh, I went to the bathroom to put on my robe and after I put on my robe Netta was there waiting for me outside the bathroom every time <laughs> and she walked me to the room the first day what we did was we just talked about like my medical history um, before we did the actual colonic just wanted to get a colonic to clean out my system it was time for a new start I needed uh, a revitalization and she said great you know that's what you you really need to do you have to take care of yourself I sat on the table and she made me turn over to my side it was my left side she made me keep my left leg straight and pull my right leg all the way up to my chest she was getting this the speculum set up and the speculum was packaged in a plastic like it was new so she would dispose of it afterwards so that was great don't want anyone reusing any speculum on you guys if it's not disposable like they're throwing it away after they use it on you then you don't need to be there you need to book it okay she got the speculum um situated and she put this oil on it like i don't know it was like a solid in a solid state and it was supposed to if you have hemorrhoids then it's supposed to help you with like hemorrhoids or something like that but she used that to help insert the speculum into my bottom all right um that that process wasn't so bad um it was a bit uncomfortable um after she inserted the speculum i had to she held it while i turned over on my back so i was laying on my back with my legs open um actually my knees were touching i kind of like for support i kind of put my knees together so my knees were touching i was laying down and she was talking to me actually we did sort of a meditation while she was cleaning out the bottom part of my um, intestine. So they pretty much just turned the water on. That's pretty much what she was doing. She just turned the water on to clean out the bottom of my intestines, um, my large intestines. And the feeling of the water going in, like, I couldn't really feel it at first. To be quite honest with you guys but we were just relaxing she like i said she was m doing the meditating making me feel comfortable helping me relax just reassuring me that this is my session whatever i want is you know whatever i'm gonna get out of it she even went as far as to um put lavender on me so that i could relax more 
sort of a therapeutic thing she was there the entire time i know some like some places like they leave the person in there but no the machine was sort of like they had like a waste knob and they had a water knob that you had to if the water was on you had to turn the waste off so pretty much what she did was the first session was mainly her um filling me up with water until i said release and then her um releasing like turning off the water and turning on the waste so that the water would come out of me um i really did not expel that much my first session um while i was on the table with netta but when i went into the bathroom world war three i let it loose <laughs> okay there it was crazy it was crazy but it was cleansing and, and i felt great afterwards um i went home and i felt very clear minded like my thinking did not feel as fogged as it normally would, would have been and I mean I felt good I felt great so that was the first day the second day I went back it was the same procedure of me sitting on the mat um, going to change into the robe and then going into the room sitting on the table turning on my side um, putting my right leg up to my chest her inserting the speculum holding it while I turn over to my back and then us uh, starting the procedure. This time she, instead of her starting and stopping the process, she did a continuous flow in which water will continuously flow in and in and in until I say release and that's when she'll turn it off and then turn the water off and then turn the waste thing on so the waste will expel. The second day I expelled a lot more than I did the first day um I don't know I don't it's I don't really think it had anything to do with comfortability I just feel like my body didn't want to I guess expel the first day um but that's not to say that it was easy for me to expel waste on the second day um she actually had to massage massage my stomach um which was great it felt good every time she massaged my you could hear you could literally hear my stomach like growling it was it was pretty cool um but yeah she did a tummy massage and that helped me out a lot she did a tummy massage the first day but like i said not a lot came out um during the second session we we saw actually both sessions but during the second session we talked about it a lot more there were a few pieces of undigested food that was in my fecal matter and so what she um suggested that i do is get an enzyme so that it will help me digest my food a little bit better or for me to chew because I admitted that I don't necessarily sit there and chew 20 to 30 times per bite. Um, no, your girl be hungry and she scarfs it down. But I did take Netta's advice and I purchased from them this enzyme here. Um, all you do with the directions here is you're supposed to take one capsule, I guess, per meal two capsules for big meals is what she said and that'll help my body digest food better that way you're getting the nutrition excuse me from the food that you're eating opposed to just letting it all go out the other end like that defeats the entire purpose of eating um but yeah it was it was interesting i expelled a lot more the second day um the third day and again like during this, this session it was very therapeutic um we meditated the second day too she did the lavender the second day she made me feel very welcome we had a conversation during the entire process on all three days so this the third day was the same uh, routine me going and sitting on the chair going into the bathroom to change into my clothes and then going and laying on the table her inserting the speculum um i did release some on the third day but it wasn't as much nearly as much as the um second day um and i felt amazing i did i felt amazing and actually let me backtrack a little bit the second day like after that day like i felt like like nauseous like i really did i felt nauseous for the majority of the rest of that day i'm not really sure why i think it was like like maybe some sort of die off sy symptoms or me just not me like releasing toxins out of my body which made me feel nauseous um but the third day it wasn't so bad um 
it was actually pretty easy the, the third day. Um, it was very routine. Um, I got the process done. I didn't feel any nausea afterwards. I per that was the day that I purchased the enzyme. And I ended up booking another appointment with Netta um, in January. So that's about a month from now. Just because I know she was she was telling me that people go after their initial three sessions they'll go like once a week for a while and then they'll do it like once every month and then they'll do it once every three months but I don't feel like my system is to the point where I need to get it like every week I'm okay I only did the three sessions just because they kind of make it seem like you have to um but yeah I I'm doing a massage with them and I'm doing the colonic on, uh, in a month so we're gonna I'm gonna I'm keeping my health and wellness up guys and you guys need to get on this ball with me you have to keep up your health and wellness and this is one of the ways that I am achieving being extremely healthy keeping clear skin um, being able to be alert and aware <laughs> in my life and just staying healthy this is like one of the ways that I'm doing that um, but yeah, I, I, the experience overall was great. I felt amazing afterwards. My tummy was definitely, definitely flatter. Um, I haven't been to the gym in about a month and a half, but my tummy is still flat. And it's like the holiday season in which you eat all the good fattening foods. But I'm not getting fat. And that's the crazy part about it is because even though I haven't been working out, I've been watching my diet and my health and wellness is one point. So... I can attribute my flat tummy to that and the experience that I had with Merge Medi Medical Center was phenomenal. Netta was great. I would suggest anyone going to get a colonic but you really do have to do your research on the person that is administering the colonic to you and making sure that they're actually certified, they know what they're doing, they are using disposable products on you as, as far as the speculum goes. Um, that way you know that it's clean. Um, and the Speculum that they're using on you, they haven't used on someone else, and vice versa. Um, yeah, so I would I would definitely suggest getting a colonic done, especially since I'm going back and I'm getting it done next month. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, I'm pretty much testing it out to see how often I want to go back. You know, I don't I know I don't want to go back every week, so I'm going to try and go back every month for maybe three to six months and then I'll do it every three months. Um, I do feel as though colonics are beneficial because your gut is the center of every single thing that you see manifesting on your body. Every single illness that you see happening to you is because it originates in your gut. I am taking probiotics um, which Netta recommended and which I already knew I was going to be taking. That was actually a fear of mine is the good bacteria and the bad bacteria and she said that um it was okay for me to get the colonic done just because um you can build that bacteria up what you're doing is you're getting out the bad bacteria and trying to build up the good bacteria as quickly as possible um so i will be taking a probiotic probiotic for quite some time to build my immune system back up and hopefully i will continue this health journey and see positive results and until then I will see you guys later if you have any questions feel free to post them below because I know that I may not have answered all of you guys' questions but I do want to get to you I know you have questions and you guys care about your health just as much as I care about mine so I love you so much and I will see you guys next time and you better stay healthy and you better stay cool love you